Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We are back with uh, another very famous question. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we are going to solve a lot of interview questions and I think that can definitely help you with your interview. So let's dive into the question. So the question says, say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of the given stock on a given day i. If you were only permitted to complete at most one transaction, buy one sell and sell one share of stock, design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. Note that you cannot sell a stock before you buy one. So okay, so what question says? Suppose you are given 7, 1, 5, 3, 6, 4, an array of price, prices. And these are the price of stock of day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6 means at day 1 the price is 7, day 2 price is 1, day 3 price is 5, day 4 price is 3 and so on. So what we need to do, we need to find the maximum profit and this they said it before that we need to buy a stock before selling it. So, so like say like they are given the example number one that if you buy the stock on day two and sell it on day five you will get the maximum profit so see what they are doing they are taking care of the minimum number to buy the stock which is one and selling it on the maximum number which is six so six minus one is five so by looking at this example we are pretty sure we need to take care of one thing which is minimum we need to take care of minimum day on which we can buy the stock and and we need to take care of the profit like suppose if we see this example again 7 1 5 3 6 4 suppose we don't know that we need to buy it on day 2 so how we will do First of all, we will, we will, when we on the day one, we will consider it as a minimum. So the minimum is seven for now. So, so how we will gonna get the profit? So we need to, we need to, the day we are going to sell minus the day we have bought it. So like, suppose we bought on day one. So like we need to minus seven from something from which. Either we buy on the same day or sell on the same day, then it will gonna be zero. So for now, minimum is seven. We came here, is one. So like, so we need we will gonna replace the minimum every time whenever we find something like less than that. So like now the we will replace the minimum with one. So we move forward. We came to five. So we see five is bigger than one. So minimum will remain one and the answer or we can say the profit will gonna be five minus one which is price on day i minus minimum. See so here the answer is four. Now we come over here. If we apply the same formula the answer is two. We come here when we use the, this formula the answer is 5 because price on day 5 is 6 and the minimum is 1 so which is equal to 5 so but like we are saying that it's gonna change every time so how we gonna track of this so what we can do is answer equal to max of answer and price at day i minus minimum so in this way it will give us the answer so this was the explanation and let me write you the code so let's write the code so let's first handle the edge case if not prices then we will gonna return zero. 
and we will take care of we need two variables what the one is answer that is zero for now and one win is minimum so for now we can take the first element of the given array as a minimum for i in range 1 to length of prices if prices at given day i is less than minimum so what we'll gonna do we'll gonna update the minimum as size of day i else else what will be we will calculate the answer and how will gonna calculate the answer maximum of so if answer will gonna be this prices of i minus min but because we need to keep track of everything so what we'll gonna do max of ans And at last, we will gonna return answer. So yeah, the code is correct. Oh, we made a mistake. Prices. Yeah, so answer is correct. So let's dry run the code. So we have written the code. We given the name is Cal Profit. So this was the given array. So let's start from here. Take answer as zero and minimum as seven because it says prices of zero i. So for i in range, i to length of prices. So first of all we are here so answer is 0 and minimum is 7 so we came over here so we will see so if the price i is less than minimum then we will gonna update the minimum so 1 is less than 7 so yes so we will gonna update it to 1 we again come to the next so we come 5 so 5 is less than 1 no so what we'll gonna do we will come here and we will see answer answer is maximum answer which is already 0 so max of 0 and price i which is 5 minus minimum which is 1 so this will gonna be 4 so we will update it with the 4 So we come at 3, so is 3 is less than 1, no, then the minimum minimum will remain 1, so again the answer will be max of 4 and price at day i which is 3 minus 1, max of 4 and 2 which is 4, so answer will remain 4. So we come at 6 so is 6 is less than minimum no so what we will gonna do we will come here and we will perform this answer equal to max of answer which is 4 minus price i which is 6 which minus 1 so max of 4 and 5 so 5 is maximum so we will update the answer with 5 so again we come to 4 so is 4 is less than minimum which is 1 no then 
menu will remain one will come here and the answer will equal to max of max which is five max of ans which is five and price of four minus one which is three so max is max of five and three which is five so at the end five remain same as the answer and at the end we will remain the answer return the answer so in this way we got answer five and this is what they tell us in the example one i hope you guys understand the question and please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching the video